Hey YouTube, Chris and Island Tech here. How's it going? As you know, in the last couple of videos, I mentioned um, there were some inquiries about different tools that are inside the DJI Spark, especially those who want to who want to film in manual mode. And I thought I'd just start the series off with white balance. As a disclaimer, I haven't been paid by DJI or any other products in this video. White balance 101, just break it down. The more closer to neutral as you start, the easier it is for pre-production and post-production. What does this mean? What it boils down to is when you start shooting uh, in manual mode, you want to start with a setting that whatever you look at that is white, that's going to be your reference, is going to look white. When you're doing this for fun or whatnot, uh, fun or commercial, the closer your whites are with white. Let's start with a piece of paper here. Um, and uh, when you hold this up to the camera for this particular screen, uh, you want to start with a non-reflective one. This is just a regular piece of paper. As you can see, um, the light that reflects off of it should be white. That means the camera is calibrated for that option. How you go about white balancing is a fairly straightforward process. Number one, uh, you just basically turn on the drone or whatever camera you're using, the DJI Spark. Two, go to the white balance mode. And then luckily within the camera mode itself, there's several different ones. There's a sunny outside setting. If there's clouds, there's another setting. And uh, if you're gonna film indoors, or if you're like in this setting with a light, you wanna make sure that you know, you, you're know you starting to film on this. All right guys, so um, I just fired up the app and I'm indoors um, using the same existing lighting. So let me adjust this really quick so that you guys can see what I'm talking about as far as white balance i'm filming through the actual app itself so if you guys hear or there's a lag on there um i do i do apologize non-reflective surface you can see that at least from from my screen i have to look it up later but as you can see we're both white and this is how auto white balance works basically on the right side you have your settings make sure you're on i'm gonna primarily refer to um, film flip this switch here to the film mode and then you know uh, there's these three on the bottom right hand above the play button that is the location where you adjust it so the one on the left is the camera settings that set shutter speed and whatnot but also let's go here so if we go on auto white balance here uh, it should correct me for that white balance setting as you can see I'm fairly balanced already and you can see that the, the wall is fairly white my, my light here is tungsten so um, the, the main point here is that you always want to start at the neutral position meaning if you see something white and it's not white then you're not white balanced as you can see in this part of the screen here I don't know if you can see it it says white balance so that's where we want to go right now it's an auto and then I'm just gonna click um, I'm gonna just go in and out of the settings and you can see how um, How each one changes the color in the background again the camera itself does not see what your eye sees um, it, it doesn't calibrate uh, It just does the, its best rendition so built into it. Let's say if it's a cloudy day you just click on cloud and Indoor setting you'll notice it changes uh, you want to match to the setting that it happens you can see it's much more orange um, much more warmer I guess you could say indoors here my shirt especially is orange uh, let's keep going down if it's sunny definitely use the sunny setting 90% of the time you're gonna be flying in good weather anyway sunset sunrise um, that's a uh, that's what sunny looks like uh, in the indoor settings if if you use the indoor setting outside it's gonna be um, changed again you got you want to change it so that you match the setting that's in the house if you don't this is what happens you get some kind of different color uh, incandescent meaning tungsten your standard light bulbs let's click on that and there we go that's since most of my lights are warm that's probably the best setting to use indoors if I do an indoor flight um, I'm gonna actually turn the lights off and then my my front light here has the ability to change the color All right guys, so I'm gonna just switch here between uh, the white balance here. Uh, th this will be a good example of daylight and in indoor lights Let's see. I'm gonna open this up again 
and go under white balance. So if we go under sunny here, I should I should remain the same color, right? Um, if I go, if I, again, I'm just matching what the color is. Now, now that this is fixed at white, watch me change um, the bulb from white, uh, what this current setting, and you can see how I'm gonna um, correct for it. Does that make any sense? Um, yeah, so outdoor lighting, white balance. This is me right now. Okay, I am, uh, my t-shirt looks white because I set it at the outdoor setting light setting. Okay, so I'm gonna switch the light to another. Okay, now my ring light is, uh, has the, um, has an indoor um, warm setting light. So as you can see, I'm orange. My shirt looks a little bit orange. And let's go back to back here. Now that I know that this is kind of like an orange setting, we can bring back the more natural setting. Everything's starting white. That's where we want to start with. So this is kind of incandescent. And boom, it should change back. Right now, this is daylight setting, as you can see, and then I, what I'm using right now to match up is the tungsten. As you can see, I turn really blue. Uh, this is a good example, good prime example of it. If I go to auto white balance, then I should be look more natural color. My shirt should look white. And similarly, if I click the sunny button, I should still resemble a more or less white color. Okay. And then let's go switch the colors again from outdoor lighting. To warm lighting, um, I look extremely warm. This looks a little bit orange. Oops. So let's switch this back from this. If you go auto white balance, it corrects for it. And then the closest one here to that is the incandescent. Okay, so that's essentially what it's doing. It turns white. It, it basically kind of neutralizes whatever light that's out there that's reflecting on your skin, your, uh, your shirt, whatever, and tries to eliminate that by adding its own little filter. That's from my understanding. Um, again, I'm not an expert in this. So let's go, let's get out of here really quick. Okay, so that's where we're at. Again, this is just, uh, this is all, this applies to the DJI Spark, but um, similarly, you can use it for any drone and our camera. Most of the time I'm flying at the sunny setting. Again, this is just a basic introduction of white balance and how you use it. Um, hopefully you guys found this informative. Uh, leave a comment below. Um, do you guys use a piece of paper? Do you guys do any white balancing? Have you done any white balancing prior to your flight? Um, if you guys do, what tools do you use? I do thank you guys for tuning in um, and listening in on my discussion here. Next week we're going to be talking about uh, shutter speed and exposure. And I thank you guys for your guys' input. I do thank you guys for subscribing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please click on the button below to subscribe. In my last video, I also am giving away a DJI Mavic tray, a uh, katana tray. So it turns your uh, Mavic into a handheld gimbal by this simple tray. I, I don't have it with me on hand right now. Um, I'm going to leave a link below on what it is uh, that I'm giving away and the video. You can watch that. But essentially to participate, I want you guys to view that video, subscribe, be one of the subscribers, one. And two, I just need you guys to leave a comment below. I'll just pick one random name in the other video. As always, I do appreciate you guys tuning in. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Fly safe and mahalo plenty.